Hello everyone, welcome to day 11th of February Read Code Challenge and I hope all of you are having a great time. The question that we have in today is permutation in a string. Here in this question we are given two strings S1 and S2. What do we need to do? We need to check whether S2 contains a permutation of S1. If it does then we need to return true otherwise we need to return false. For example, here S1 is given to us as AB and S2 is given to us as E I D B A O O O. And as you can see, B is present in S2, which is a permutation of S1, as a result of which we return true as the answer. In case there is no such string present that is a permutation of S1, then we need to return false. From the hint of the question or from the current understanding, can you correlate with any other question that we did in this month itself? The answer is yes. Which question is that? The question is, find all anagrams in the string. Let's try and read this question as well and let's try to draw relationship with the cut today's question. Here again we are given two strings S and P. What do we need to do? We need to return an array as the answer and each element of the array will be the starting index of P's anagrams in S. For example, here we are given S string as C B A E B A B A C D and the P string is given to us as A B C you can see that there are two instances where the anagrams of p are present in s the first one is this one the starting index happens to be zero and the second one is b a c the starting index happens to be six here in this question we need to return the starting indexes here we need to check whether such permit whether the possibility does exist or not if it does exist that simply means you need to return true so if someone asks you a very simple question, what is 1 plus 3 or 2 plus 2 in a different flavor, the answer remains the same, that is 4. And this is what we are exactly going to do the same thing. If you have gone through this, vid this video that we did on 2nd February, then this question would be a cakewalk for you. For those who missed it, I am attaching the link in the description below. Please have a look at it at video. I have solved this question by two approaches. Uh, one in order of time complexity of length of P into S and other in order of length of S. You will definitely gonna learn something new there in case you missed it. For those who have already solved that question, you can just copy paste the code from here and uh, need to do minor tweaks. Uh, you need to update the return type and the ordering here of S and T and then the solution will be accepted. This brings me to the end of today's session. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for viewing it. Have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from Coding Decoded. I'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question. But till then, goodbye.